morning everybody how's everybody doing today happy monday morning yep it is seven i'm gonna hold watch on 31 <laughs> my name is rashida monique i'm here monday through friday with the daily shift broadcast so welcome to the daily forecast i am your new published uh national best-selling author so come on um i am in the book the season public if you haven't received your copy um purchased your copy pre-ordered your copy you can go to bit.ly slash rb seed of hope that's bit.ly slash rb s-e-e-d-o-f-h-o-p-e so let's get to it when you go to seeds of hope you push the button for seeds of hope book there's a drop down box go ahead and go to the drop down box choose my name rashida brundage in case you didn't know who I was. And then just go ahead and uh, make your purchase. I greatly appreciate it um, that this seed of hope can be sown into your life. So come morning, Kathy. Good morning, everyone. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're a returning, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that and follow on whatever platform you find this video. Heart, like, share, uh, leave a comment because, you know, these algorithms, if nobody's participating in the conversation, the video just sits there and then you guys miss out on what the Lord is saying. And so today, I just wanted to touch on a little bit of what Pastor Rundage preached on yesterday. And... Um, a lot of times uh we today's soul search monday according to the shift protocol so let's talk about this are you a point of li thinking and living in a thought place of sufficiency uh, we talk a lot about abundance we talk a lot about lack but let's talk about sufficiency about the sufficiency of our god do you really believe that god is sufficient his grace is sufficient for you or do you only believe it in a hard place right do you believe that god can supply all of your need according to his riches and glory um all the time or it's only when you're in a lack that you in your personal uh, strength cannot feel do you believe that God is a healer of all manner of sickness and disease or it's only the diseases that uh, you have no medication to take for the medication isn't working or can't we believe that God can heal from diabetes and high blood pressure that God can change our habits and thoughts our mindsets that he can heal from mental illness God is sufficient right he has everything that we need how do you believe in sufficiency i was listening to uh pam booker friday was it friday or thursday friday when she was on with clavio's uh ceo and i think the lady from one of the ladies from shark tank i think i don't know who that lady was i ain't gonna tell y'all no lie i had no no idea who these people are I know Pam, and that's how I knew about this room that she was in in Clubhouse, and they were talking about, um, you know, the uh, beauty product space, the beauty space, and how saturated that it is, and uh, does she ever think that she has to fight, basically fight for her place and fight for her customers, you know, to keep her numbers, and she said she used to think that way, but now she realizes that there's enough for us all, right? That's enough for us all. So some people like call by nature and their customers and they're gonna gonna talk it up and they're gonna spend money, spend money, spend money and refer, refer, refer. And then there's other people that's gonna like main choice. There's some other people that love allocate naturals. There's some other people that may love um, uh, smooth naturals. Whatever it is, there's enough for us all. And in the body, we don't have to clamor for position or title or power or uh, influence why because god is sufficient everything that we need we have the sunday school lessons why do you worry when jesus told them when you go don't worry about what you eat and what you drink and what you're going to wear don't worry about these things because the world does that right but if i supply for the birds the birds don't wake up worrying about whether the worms are coming out today they just get up and go get the worm right if the grass grows regardless of what's going on in the world um god can can supply your need that you can grow no matter what's going on in the world he proved that in this pandemic right uh and so as we go forth this week um before we start complaining and talking about as my daddy say what we don't have what we don't got what we ain't got what we whatever uh let's look at how god 
uh, has been sufficient, right? And how every time you make the decision to move forward, he began to move things in place to supply the need that you didn't even know you had, right? And so as we go forth today, as we go forth this week, before you say, oh, I can't do that because I don't have this, Start the process of doing it. Start researching and seeing exactly what you need. Start seeing where you can find the the product, the space, the knowledge, the people. And watch God be sufficient. Can we just start this week? believing in the sufficiency of God. He is sufficient. Not only is his grace sufficient, not only is his mercy sufficient, not only is his his uh healing sufficient not only is his provision sufficient god is sufficient he's sufficient in the mind he's sufficient in your heart and your soul he sufficiently loves you come on and not only is he sufficient we say he's sufficient but the bible says that he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us if we can believe god for more than what we see if we can believe God more than what we already know, if we can believe God above the more, he will continue to do more. It's uh, funny, you know how you ever have a little child and you bring it in the groceries and they're like, I want to help, I want to help. So you give them the little half gallon of orange juice and they're like, no, I don't want to carry that. I want to carry the gallon of the milk. And some of these kids, the milk, jug is about to take them over but you be like oh you can do it you're so strong you can do it that baby is gonna do whatever it takes to get that jug that milk jug all the way in the house why and as why because you are encouraging them and you are uh showing them this how uh you much you believe in them and now when i think about that i think about god the more we believe in him the more he's like oh you think i did that you think that was something let me show you something let me show you something else i could do I believe God, and so today, I'm not going to be before you long. We just, I just want to pose that question. Do you believe in sufficiency? Are you believing in the sufficiency of God? Sufficiency, giving you what you need, having what you need. It's enough to go around. You don't have to say you get two beans, I get three beans, you get four beans. But it's enough that we eat. When he prayed of over the five loaves, uh, Two fish and five, yeah, out of the two fish and five loaves. When he prayed over that, they weren't worried about did we get enough. It was enough to feed 5,000 men. That's not including the women and children. And they had 12, was it 12 baskets left of scraps. And so when we say that God is sufficient, it was enough to feed the crowd. When the uh, children of Israel were in the wilderness and he sent manna from heaven, he told them, just gather what you need for the day. Gather for those that are not able to gather for themselves and to uh, not save any for labor. Good morning, Cynthia. Good morning, Mel. Uh, for themselves. But listen, what, uh, God's grace was sufficient manna rained down every time they needed a meal right and then when they start complaining about the bread and and they wanted some meat he sent them quail come on that they didn't have to go out and just hunt and find and search for but he gave it to them and so god is sufficient um i was talking to my nutrition coach shamir hey babe and um we were talking about you know be it me being off my nutrition track and so and when I made up my mind that I was going to do this, and I was like, I still need to get to the store or do an Instacart order or a grocery list. And then my neighbor comes outside. Oh, guess what? Al brought me a whole bag of zucchini, right? And um, I cooked it. She said, I don't really eat a lot of zucchini. So she's like, I didn't know how to cook it. So she told me what she did, and she had enjoyed that. So I gave her some tips on how to cook the zucchini. And she was like, well, um, I want, you want some? I was like, yeah. And so she said, I'll bring you a couple and put them on the door. So she brought me two big, big zucchini. And I was like, okay, Lord, you blessed me with this vegetable. Now I got a vegetable. I had chicken in the freezer, had a red onion in the, in the uh, refrigerator, and I had, I got some brown rice. So I'm like, okay, that's my lunch for tomorrow. I ain't got to worry about groceries to get started tomorrow, and I can do the rest. But see, once I made up my mind, God supplied the need, and he does that for us. He'll guide your footsteps. He'll send uh, a word across your way or somewhere to lead you to where you need to be. So God is sufficient. He is sufficient. He gives you what you need to supply that need. And, um... As Adia would say, you know, we need to look up that word sufficient. So today, your homework is to look up that word sufficient. 
find out what sufficient means according to the dictionary and then i want you to think about how you think of god's sufficiency i know if you've been in your word you already know that his grace is sufficient right he told uh paul was a paul when he had the thorn in his flesh and he said but my grace is sufficient that thing that he was fighting with but god's grace is sufficient it will keep you in the midst of all that my rice cooker is going off y'all so god will keep you in the midst of all that's going on his grace is sufficient but outside of his grace being sufficient where else can you see god's sufficiency in your life you can tell today i feel like i'm in sunday school mode what other ways can you seek to see god's sufficiency in your life how can you seek to see god's being sufficient in your finances so instead of talking about well, i can't afford this you know i'm retired and i can't do that god's grace is sufficient and my pastor said if we stop wanting so much we'll have some money if we stop buying everything we see or hear or want we'll have some money right so let's think about how is god sufficient how is god making ways and opening doors how has god proved himself to be sufficient before see we are overcome by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony and a lot of times we need to testify to ourselves to remind ourselves where god has brought us from so when this while we're walking through this uh season in our lives the enemy can't come and tell you oh well god don't have enough for that and he can't do this for you and he won't do that for you the devil is a liar and there is no truth in him lord we praise that we thank you for today we thank you for your sufficiency we thank you for your grace your mercy your kindness god we thank you because you are awesome and a mighty god and there is none like you we thank you for salvation on today we thank you for deliverance on today god we thank you for every way made every door open every door closed god we thank you for every connection every point of influence god we thank you for every point of favor that you've put in our lives god we thank you that we can walk in newness of life on today and be able to walk in your sufficiency so god be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway god that we won't go anywhere do anything that will shame your name god touch the work of our hands that we won't do anything that will bring shame to your name god but only those things that bring you glory bless the hearing of our ear that we only hear your voice god we ask you to touch our hearts that we have great intent and that we will continue to obey your voice when we hear it and bless the words of our mouth that we won't say anything that will bring shame to you god but only those things that bring you glory and those things that bring you honor and we ask these things in jesus name amen thank you all for being here if you have not had a chance to purchase your book if you are local, you can text me because a lot of y'all already got my number inbox me. You can uh, place your order with me or you can go to the website and that is bit.ly slash RBC of hope. Yes, we still taking pre-order. I was told I have until tomorrow to make my final or print order for these books. So bit.ly slash RBC of hope, S-E-E-D-O-F. H O P E. Uh, I'm going to do that again. Bit.ly slash RB for Rashida Brundage. S E E D O F H O P E. Thank you all for going. Thank you all for purchasing. Thank you for your support, for your shares, your likes, your hearts, your congratulations, and all those wonderful things. I do want you to know before we go that you're blessed. You are highly favored. You are the apple of your father's eye. He is absolutely and he is positively concerned about you. He thinks that you are the best thing since sliced bread. You can cast your cares upon him and know that God cares for you and that he loves you with an everlasting love. And there's nothing and nothing you could do about it. Y'all, I'm still celebrating. Y'all see that? Yes. There's nothing you could do about it. You all have a wonderful, you all have a great day. Go with and I'll see you all back here tomorrow for the Daily Shift Healing Broadcast.